All right, what's on my heart today? Footwear. More specifically, boots and hunting boots. Now, we've got three up here. These are the three that fit me good, that um, I'm comfortable in when I tried them on at the store. They fit, they fit, felt good, and I was um, pretty confident they were gonna do the job for me. So there is a bunch of companies out there selling boots, um, from Danner to Irish Setter, um, Red Wings, Loa's, Crispies, Mindles, um, Kentrex. What else is out there? A bunch, right? Schnees, um, and Bozeman. But these, uh, these are definitely the three, you know, I've tried pretty much all those on. Um, and these are the three that, that fit me good when trying them on. And that's what I went with. So to begin with, these Irish setters look well worn, as you can see. Um, I've been wearing uh, a long, long time. These are 200 grams of thin slate. And these are the elk trackers by Irish setter red wing boots. I've worn these uh, probably 10, 10 years plus. Um, in Montana, they did double duty as a, as a ranch boot in between the muck boot and uh, cowboy boot seasons. These work very well. Um, waterproof and, and tough. Uh, got a lot of use out of a pair. These are probably my fifth pair um, from hunting to working in them. Um, I get the 200 gram and put on thicker socks when it's cold and can use these when it's warmer also. But two years ago, I uh, went hunting bear with uh, Gray for the first time and Gray's an animal and we, uh, we hit it hard up in the mountains. And I noticed for that type of hunting where uh, you're up and down, up and down on rock and snow and ice and that. that for some reason, these were breaking down and, and pretty much you can see that they're a little bit uh, more giving in all areas, which makes them very comfortable as soon as you put them on the first time. And that's why I think I liked them the most. And when you're not hunting extreme um, terrain, these boots, uh, are super comfortable straight out of the box. But they were giving me problems and I knew um, I had two, two weeks um, with gray and, and then over to the snowies and I wanted to make sure that uh, these weren't gonna cause me problems. So I ran to town in between hunts and I ended up picking up these lows. I tried out a, on a bunch of boots and ended up with these lows. And they basically saved that hunt for me. Now these were like a, a, a brick when you put them on for the first time and these require a lot of breaking period, which I didn't give them. And I was worried about that. But basically the only downfall, um, going straight out of the box and then going hunting with these, um, I didn't have any problems except for you have to pick up your feet because they were just would catch on everything because they just were, you know, I wasn't used to the, the brickiness of them but they're well worn in now, been everywhere with me. These things out of the garments, I know we did, uh, I did the, the pants episode and you know, the Wrangler pants were an MVP, but these are truly the MVP. The Wrangler pants came in second, um, close second, but these are the MVP out of all the things I wear, out of everything I take in my hunts, these, these boots, these lower boots. Um, and you can see they've got pretty good traction. And these things, it's like they just stick to the terrain, whether it be a rock. I mean, I'll step on a rock and I think, oh, that's the wrong angle. I'm gonna slip and this thing, they just, uh, they just hold your feet, ankles, years of playing basketball, my ankles are toast. And so I need good support. And this has very good support. Um, and these are the high, these are the Tibets, low Tibets, high. and. You know, somewhere up around the $500 range, these are gonna be right in the 200 or so range, depending on where you get them from. So 
it's a quite an investment, but I'm telling you, if you're going on any sort of um, hunt that requires you to move a lot, up, down, sideways, rock, snow, I mean, whatever condition you can throw at this. New Zealand, they did wonderful. Down the desert, they did wonderful. Um, didn't take them to Africa because I didn't need that kind of boot in Africa. But if you did need that kind of boot in Africa, they would do wonderful. Now, when I was in Nevada, I got a little hot with these and my, my uh, feet swelled. And I bought these boots to fit perfectly um, in a cooler weather scenario. And they started uh, kind of hurting a little bit my feet in these as my feet swelled when the temperature approached 100. And because these got have a little insulate in them and they were hot. And so that was a longer hunt. And so I decided I better find something that's going to be a little more warm weather tolerant. But I still was, you know, up the mountains, I still needed the support. Um, so I couldn't go down to, you know, a, a basic hiker. Um, so what I did is I found these crispies. And let me tell you, these are now my warm weather hunting boot. Um, so I got them a size bigger than these. And they, they basically have the same features. You know, you've got the protection all the way around, protection all the way around. Um, very um, stout, stiff boot, not quite as high. And I do notice that there are scenarios where I better just be a little careful um, where I can just do anything in these and it holds my ankles. There's a couple times I'm like, eh, and you can see that little bit of flex there compared to he this Loa. This Loa just has very little flex um, in this region here below where kind of your ankle would sit. There's just a little more flex than this right here. You can see it, but it's not a big deal for most people. For me, it kind of is. But out of the box, these things, they have a little bit of a curve to the toe. And so you've got this scenario where out of the box, they're a little bit better um, and you can break them in a lot faster. So they're not like a brick. And that, that curve sticks with it and really makes walking pretty nice. Um, and it doesn't bother anything. It doesn't bother the top of your toe. So the Krispies, um, I do notice it's got aggressive uh, lugs in the bottom, aggressive sole, and it looks even more aggressive than the Loa's, but I find that these, these slip a lot more. Um, so in, com in comparison, I mean, these just have a tremendous amount of grip. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what it is about them, but you, you just can't, I don't slip in these. Every once in a while, I find myself slipping, gotta be a little careful, but again, these are, I would wear these where it's slippery snow, ice. I would wear these um, kind of desert, uh, drier environment, hotter. And I wore these in Texas on the Neil Guy hunt. It put a lot of miles in, flat miles, and just perfect. The weights, the weight, I'd say, uh, is pretty similar. You know, these are probably going to be a little heavier just because they're a little higher and have some insulate, uninsulated. And um, I've done real well. So these are the Krispies. All three of these boots, excellent boots. Quality wise, you can't beat them, but these two are gonna be your more expensive boot. And um, this is more affordable. So if you're deer hunting, elk hunting, where uh, you're not back country with a backpack and you're just kinda doing a cowboy style, these are gonna work, these elk trackers. But I really have to recommend, if you're looking for a pair of boots um, and no nonsense, these things will get it done, waterproof, um, comfortable. I haven't had, it, haven't had an issue, one issue with these things. The low, low to bets, high, I like the high. And yeah, that's what's on my heart today, guys. So if you're in the market for some quality boots, I hope that uh, I helped you choose maybe which boot is best for you. So in the end, um, there's a lot of companies out there selling boots. You gotta try them on. The lowest might not feel good for you. And then or the Krispies might not feel good for you. Or these Irish Setters might not feel good, you know? And Kentrek or 
sneeze or something else is going to feel good on you. But make sure they feel good on your feet. Um, and look, you got to pay for quality if you're going, uh, and your feet are the number one priority. It's going to get you in and out where you're going. You got to have good footwear. I can test the lowest, but also these two fine boots. But there you go. That's what's on my heart today. Until next time, heart on.